All right, here we are. Frank's on. Here, let's turn that clicker off right over here. Uh, he might have got off. No, he's there. <laughs> he's still there. Put your... Keep it coming. You got him. Frank's on. We don't know what he's on. We're just trolling in the shallows here. Here he comes. Okay, you're in, Judy. Good. What you got there? Oh, nice. Cerro mackerel. Kingfish. What is that? Let's let's flip him into the boat. So just bring him right over here. Oh, that is a gigantic Cerro mackerel. Look at that thing. Isn't that a pretty fish? Yeah. That's a pretty he fish. is beautiful. We're off to a good, we're off to a good start. We got a Cerro mackerel on board. Now those are eating fish. This is no? sashimi grade fish. No way. Yes way. So anyways, this is a Cerro mackerel. You can tell he's a Cerro. Wait. Cousin Jim here. It's windy out here today, again blowing 25 miles an hour. So we've stopped in on the pack three. I'm fishing with uh, Frank and Judy. Judy looks like, do you have something on? I thought you had a bite. That rod bent, but you got a whole shrimp. So they're from Travis City, Michigan. You know those guys that are doing the Oak Island stuff on TV? They're friends of theirs. Kind of. Their kids went to school together. So we're out here, we're gonna see what happens. We'll bend the rod for you a little bit. Hope we make a good show. There we go, hooked up. Don't know what we got. Pork, trunk, water's green. It's a yellow tail. Another oh, yellow tail. Oh, I think it's just about a quarter inch bigger. <laughs> He's a little bigger. <laughs> they gotta be 12 inches. He's not. Send him home. Oh, he is pretty. <laughs> Look at the blue line up under the eye with the yellow, all the pinky splotches. Beautiful little fish. He's going home for dinner tonight. There's enough there for a sandwich. Fun stuff, Judy. Okay. If I can, I'll try to do a little more line. Really meant a little more. You've got to get him up to the surface. He's not ready yet. No. Nope. You gotta reel him up to the surface. You gotta reel him. Alright there, but don't lift his head out. He'll come around. Alright. There we go. Yeah, that's the fish I saw. That's the fish you saw. So here we go. We got Frank and Judy. <laughs> Look at that. They got a little uh, 
a little bonnet head. Some people would think it's a hammerhead, but this is a bonnet head shark. They get to be about three and a half, four feet long. So this one's halfway grown. We'll show him in a little bit. All right. Let's lay down here for a second. Good job, Judy. Settle down, buddy. Just lay there. We'll take your picture, then we'll put you back in the water. Look how much they can bend. He could almost get me there, but we're going to let him go. How'd you like that, Judy? Liked it. It was, it was fun. Very fun. Yeah. <laughs> you never know what you're going to catch out here on the patch reefs. We're just having a blast. It's too windy to be doing any really hard fishing, but you never know what you're going to catch. It's a lot of fun. I got him, I think. Hooked up. Nope. I'll get around it. We'll make it work. Fish on. Not that light. It's a 10 to 20 pound rod. Nice yellow tail. We got a keeper. Judy, would you like a yellow tail sandwich for dinner? Yes. It looks, oh, it's a nice fish. It's pulling him all around. What have you got there? Whoa. You can, you just point it this way, you'll be good. There we go. That one looks like he's probably 12 inches. He's going to be really close to a keeper. Frank's fish he just caught, 11 and a half inches. Here he goes. I got a real fish. Don't know what it is. Is that on that big hunk of, uh, yeah, it's probably a mutton. Oh, good. You're gonna be needing a net? Uh, Feel like it, maybe? We're not there yet, but hopefully. Thank you. Because yep. I never get these shots. Getting a good cameraman is hard. He's coming. Oop. Way out there on the side. Frank just said, honey. I'm going to get this. He's going to go on the far side of my valley hoop. That line that's right there might need to come in. Okay, Frank. But Judy can keep fishing. I mean, Phil. Perfect, perfect, perfect. He's coming. I don't know what he is. He's got some size to him, though. Thank you. Going under the boat right now. Oh, big mutton. Let's get that net. Yeah. Let's get Let that get net. That. Nice. I told you I was wanting a five, six, seven pounder coming. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me get a picture. <laughs> Okay, now I, it turned off again. It's okay, it's not off. It's, it's not filming. off, okay. It is filming. Big hunk of ballyhoo. Let her lay. Big chunk of ballyhoo. Wow. Oh. Yes, there you All go. All right, there we go. There what we go. a That's cute. One. We got a keeper mutton. Look at the blue stripe on him. Look at the orange and red in his tail. Does he have a spot right there, probably? Yep. Yep. All right, this is a mutton snapper. It's exactly what we wanted to catch. They got to be 18 inches. This one's going to be close. Ah. Isn't that pretty though? Look at that. That is a beautiful color right here. And this right here. Yep, look at that fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Fish on, Judy's got one. What do we got? Whoa. Hold the rod, hold the rod tip out. 
There you go. You're okay. Don't worry. He went out away from the boat. That's a good thing. Judy's got a big one on. I'm betting on a shark. Uh, yeah, let's net him. Let's net him. I do. I want you to net him, Frank. This is the this is the Frank and Judy show. Reel him in a little more. You've got to get him up to the surface. No. You got to reel him up to the surface. You got to reel him. But, all right there, but don't lift his head out. He'll come around. All right. There we go. That's the fish I saw. That's the fish you saw. He's hooked right there in the corner of the mouth. That makes it very easy to take out. This is a bonnet head shark. You can see how his head is there. So he's about halfway grown. Really cool looking fish. She was fishing with a circle hook and it hooked right in the corner of the mouth, just like it's supposed to. Uh, is it, is it really all okay? Yeah, it's all fine. Didn't, he didn't get a bunch of teeth in it or anything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook her squid back on. She's been fishing the buffet. It was, that drag was perfect because she landed a three foot fish with it. We got a Cerro, we got a few yellow tails, the Porgy. It might not be the best video, but it will be a video. All right. Come on, Judy's getting a bite. Look how intense she is. She's got it. I think you got it. I think you got it. What is it? Oh, bring that in here. Get it up over here. Flip it over here. Bring it in. Bring it in. Get it in the boat. There we go. This right here is another Spanish mackerel. Oh, wow. I don't know if I've ever caught a Spanish mackerel. Well, now I know you have. Yeah. <laughs> Spanish mackerel. Not quite as big as Frank's, but just as good eating. Nice Spanish mackerel, Judy. It's is there fun. any kind of size limit on those? Uh, no, there's no size limit. Oh, there's a porpoise. I just saw his fin. He's he's black. He's up 100 yards right there. See? He's back under the water again. But he is straight. Th there he is. He's so dark, he almost looks like an orca. And his fin is tall. So I hope he comes over here. I have never seen an orca here, but they are here. They pass through. Okay. Fish on. They were very nice. They were very nice. Yeah. Yep, I fished with them. Took them out? Yep. Absolutely. Here we go. Yellowtail. It's a close one. It's on the mutton rod. All right. Use that contractor's eye. Make this look like the best set of cabinets you ever built. Okay. Is this when I punch in 15 bucks an hour? Exactly. Okay. This, is, this is when you punch in. Oh yeah, it's another nice mutton. We're going to bring it over here. There we go, we got a mutton right down there. We're filming, I'm gonna flip him in. Oh, 
He's not, he's not as big, he's not a keeper, so he's coming in the boat. But still a beautiful fish on the mutton rod. Exactly what we're trying to do. Second mutton of the day. I think I got one. There we go. Ooh, I lost it. I still have a bait because I'm getting tapped away. We'll open the bale up, let it go free. We're gonna let this fish run with it. It's picked it up twice and I haven't gotten it. There we go, it just ran a little line out of my hand. I'm gonna wait for one more little run. You got your GoPro on. I got the GoPro running. So you play an instrument too? Yeah. I play guitar. Me too. You too? Okay. You know what? I think I got a guitar too. I think I got a little fish on. If I do, it's really little. It's really little. Oh, it's a yellow tail that didn't feel like running. It's the same one. <laughs> no, this one's the smallest one I've caught. Look at that though, hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful little fish. Look at all the yellow on that thing. Nice looking fish. We're gonna let him go. Go tell your mother there's a buffet set. Bring it in, I'll give you a piece of squid. I'll put it on with the shrimp. It'll feel like hometown buffet to them. We'll just give a little, a little squid snack on top right there. Pull it through, come on. There you go, girl, give that a try. All right, I was getting a, I was getting a bite. You do. Yep, I got some tapping going on. I only have a piece of my last shrimp left. I'm getting tapped pretty doggone good. What I'm fishing is, I'm fishing a whole shrimp on an eighth ounce, on an eighth ounce jig hooked in the tail so he lays naturally down there on the bottom. I've got it tied directly to 15 pound test. I just built this CRB um, fishing rod. It is a 10 to 17 pound class. You see right there, it is a Cousin Jim custom built rod. And see the yellow tail I've got it on there? This is my yellow tail rod. It's been performing perfectly today. I'm fishing a little 400 series on pen. And um, that's what we're doing. And here comes, I'm gonna go catch another fish. Fish. Okay, so there we go. Judy's on. All right, Judy, get it, baby. She's on. Yeah, we like that. Oh yeah, look at that pull. She's got that two-foot fish that you just saw. It's right. It's absolutely right. Uh, right up in the front. Just flip him in. He'll come in. There we go.